Hi, my name is Tatang Naban, a founder and editor of Law Hub Gambia. I just wanted to uh, quickly talk about the constitutional review processes going on in the Gambia, but specifically the draft constitution currently. As we all know, after 22 years of dictatorship in the Gambia, we Gambians are actually provided with a very historical opportunity to correct many of the errors that we had in the past constitutions. This will be the country's third constitution uh, since 1970 when the, when the Gambia first became a republic. The 1970 constitution was overthrown by the military in 1994, as we are all aware, who then organized a referendum for the new constitution in 1996, ushering in the Second Republic in 1997. And currently we do have the 1997 constitution. As part of the transition to democratic dispensation, the Constitutional Review Commission Act uh, was passed in 2017 that established the Constitutional Review Commission, commonly known as the CRC, to draft a new constitution. The Constitutional Review Commission actually commenced their work in June 2018 and uh, they're expected to submit a draft report as well as a draft constitution to the president by December of 2019. Um, on 15 November 2019, the draft constitution was published by the Constitutional Review Commission. Consultations are currently ongoing on the draft before the final submission to the president. And just to give a quick overview of the draft constitution. So the draft constitution contains about 20 chapters and has 315 provisions. The preamble, which is really important, now emphasizes the respect for rule of law and fundamental rights and freedoms. Key provisions to highlight include uh, changes under the citizenship uh, chapter, which defines who a citizen of the Gambia is and how to acquire Gambian citizenship. Changes on the fundamental human rights and freedoms chapter, also for the first time in the history of the Gambia, uh, does provide for justiciable economic and social rights, including the right to health, that are currently provided in the 1997 constitution as a directive principles of state policy. Also a key addition to this chapter is the introduction of the right to access information. Um, additionally, on limiting executive power, there is a novel provision which now requires decisions or directives uh, issued by the president to be in writing, uh, which must also bear the seal and signature of the president. Uh, we also have the term of the president stipulated as five years, and uh, which also bars any person from holding office as president for more than two terms of five years, which is really important and, um, considering the history of the Gambia. Uh, additionally, we also have in the draft constitution that only elected members can now constitute the National Assembly. In order to ensure inclusion, the National Assembly will now include a number of women and persons with disabilities. On decentralization, the constitution recognizes the importance and relevance of local government and effective devolution of power for the overall development of the Gambia. It reinforces the participation of people at the grassroots level to participate in the development of their communities, and this is very important in our case. As I mentioned um, earlier, I just wanted to really highlight some key provisions which are really important, but uh, just to say that the draft constitution is now readily available. You can pick it up at, at the CRC office, you can download it from our website, you can download it from the CRC's website, and there is also an explanatory note that can also give you more in-depth information about the draft constitution. So what we really we encourage in uh, people, citizens especially, because this is key in terms of ensuring that we have a constitution that we want, is to read the constitution, read the draft constitution, share it and send in your inputs uh, before the consultation processes uh, and uh, before uh, the Constitutional Review Commission uh, submits a draft constitution and a draft uh, report to the president. Just to re-emphasize in terms of concluding, in constructing a new constitutional framework, it is vital to ensure that our constitution as Gambians provides a solid basis uh, for the respect for law, democracy, and good governance. It is our sovereign right to determine the form of governance for our country by giving to ourselves a constitution of our own making. The Gambia definitely and indeed has a historic moment of eventually adopting a transformative constitution.